I just made a pizza that's a deep dish Chicago style pizza. And let me just tell you, it's the most amazing thing I've ever had in my life. You guys have to make this. All right, in all seriousness though, this is probably the best keto pizza I've ever had before in my life. So I'm excited to share this recipe with you. If this is the first time of you checking out my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new recipe. Now I've made keto pizzas for you guys before in the past and you love them, especially my basic keto fat head dough pizza, which I'll have linked up here for you guys. Just click up here if you wanna watch that video or I'll have the full recipe list listed down below in the description box. Plus I have a bunch of other keto pizza variations like a breakfast pizza and a pulled pork pizza. So definitely make sure you check those out. But this is more of a Chicago style deep dish pizza. And honestly, this crust is phenomenal. I was just kind of thinking about, okay, how can I make a deep dish pizza? Let's, let's throw this in there. Deep Chicago pizza uses like a cornmeal crust. So we're going to use a lupin flour because that's kind of like cornmeal to me. That's has the same look and texture and flavor as cornmeal does, at least in my opinion. So I just kind of designed it all out and threw everything in there and I was super shocked at how fabulous this pizza crust turned out. So let's get started with the recipe. To make this keto deep dish pizza, we're gonna first start by adding one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese to a bowl. We're gonna microwave this at one minute intervals until everything is melted. Once you get a melted mozzarella cheese that looks like this, now we're ready to proceed. Now, a quick note, if you didn't want to use a microwave, because I know some of you guys don't like microwaves, you think they're the devil, totally fine. You can still melt your shredded mozzarella cheese on a nonstick skillet on the stove top. Super easy to do, just put it in there, turn the heat on, and it's gonna slowly melt and just kind of stir it to get it going too. So same product, same melted cheese consistency. Now to our food processor, we're gonna add in that melted mozzarella cheese. And then next comes our flour. So I'm gonna use a half of a cup of almond flour and then half a cup of lupin flour. So I mentioned that before. I haven't really cooked too much with lupin flour. I know a lot of you guys have and rave about it. To me, like I said, it has this like cornmeal-like consistency, which is what Chicago pizza, a lot of those recipes have. So I thought it would be great to include in this pizza crust. You'll also need one egg, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then a half a teaspoon of salt. Give your mixture a good pulse and mix it until everything is fully combined. Now, if your dough doesn't look like it's fully combined, then you can just knead it on your surface just to help get that mozzarella cheese mixed in with the rest of the ingredients. You could even put it back in the microwave. I've actually done that before. I've had to do it because I had to run, go do something. And when I came back, my dough was really not very moldable. So I put it back in the microwave just to soften it up for around 30 seconds. Now it's time to put our keto pizza crust into our pan. So I'm gonna be using a cast iron skillet to bake this pizza in. You could use a pizza pan or like a cake pan it would probably work better if you're trying to get that deep dish pizza effect. But on my skillet, I'm gonna lay down a little bit of melted baking grease. This was just the leftover baking grease because we had bacon in the morning for breakfast, but you could use avocado oil or olive oil if you wanted to. And then we're just gonna press our dough down into this cast iron skillet. You want to make sure you move up against the edges just so that you do have like that nice crust to lift out of and you do want to get it as thick as possible. So this skillet that I'm using, I think it's around like a eight or a 10 inch skillet. I didn't measure it. I'm just kind of going off of eyeballs, um, but I'll have it down below in the description box on what the exact dimensions were. I would actually, if you really love deep, deep dish pizza, probably go with a smaller skillet, like maybe a six inch skillet instead, just so you really get that thick crust on the bottom. Now the beauty of this pizza is that we don't have to pre-bake it. And that was one of my criteria when I was trying to come up with this recipe is that I wanted it to be as easy as possible for you guys. I wanted to just put down the dough, put down the toppings and pop it in the oven. And that's what we can do with this recipe. It's fabulous. So next we're going to add in our toppings. 
Now, when it comes to toppings, we're doing a Chicago style. So because it's a deep dish pizza and Chicago style, you have to, it's so thick that you wanna make sure that your cheese doesn't burn on top. So the way that the Chicagans, Chicagians, Chicagans, uh, you guys will probably tell me what the name is down below. So the way that they do it is that they'll put a layer of cheese down at the bottom and then their meat on top and then on top of that the sauce. That way the cheese gets nice and melty down below and doesn't burn on top because you are going to be baking it for longer than a traditional pizza crust. Before we continue with the rest of this delicious keto pizza recipe, I do want to stop the video for just a minute to take time to thank our sponsor, Built Bar. Built Bars, if you haven't tried them before, I know I've talked about them before, but they are a protein bar that's keto friendly and they have tons and tons of different flavors. You guys should definitely check them out. Like this one is um, a cookies and cream. There is a banana bread flavor. I mean, it goes on and on. Mint brownie, peanut butter, there's chocolate ones, a coconut. It's crazy how many different flavors they have. And they have some good ingredients in them too. So if you guys wanna try Built Bar, and I highly recommend you do, I'll have a link down below in the description box that you guys could click on. It is affiliate link, because this is a sponsored video. But yeah, these are great bars, loaded with lots of protein, good for post-workout, great for snack, good for just maybe even a keto breakfast if you just wanna have something like in the morning. So thank you Built Bar for sponsoring this video. Next we're going to pop this in the oven. You can do a 325 to 350 degree oven and then cook it for around 20 to 25 minutes. You just want to cook it until the crust starts to get golden brown along the edges. And then we're going to finish it just to really get that that cheese that is kind of on the surface a little bit. We want to get it nice and like melted and bubbly. So just throw it on top of the broiler and then it will help to to melt that top layer of cheese. And that's it. That is our easy keto deep dish Chicago style pizza. I highly, highly recommend you guys try this. Let me know down in the comments if you guys do, because I want to hear your thoughts on this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post new recipes. We'll see you next time. Bye.